Okay, the class uh, sine of u v, we're supposed to find the sine of u plus v, and this is the exact value it says. Okay, well there's a formula for sine of u plus v, and that is sine of u cosine of v plus cosine of u sine of v. Okay, in the in the directions, they give us what sine of u and cosine of v are. They tell us that sine of u is 5 thirteenths. Okay, so we're going to uh, just go ahead and substitute that in for sine of u here. Um, they also give us the cosine of v. They tell us that the cosine of v is negative 3 fifths. Okay, so we're going to substitute that in for cosine right here. So now we have to figure out what the cosine of u is and the sine of v is. We'll do cosine of u first. Using our information for angle u, this is all we got for angle u, plus uh, that it says it's in the second quadrant because in the directions it says both angles, u and v, are in the second quadrant. So we're going to draw our triangle in the second quadrant. Uh, if sine of u is 5 thirteenths, that means the y value over the r value is 5 thirteenths. So we can put a 5 here and a 13 here, and we can use that to find our x value. Pythagorean's theorem, 13 squared minus 5 squared is 144. The square root of 144 is 12. So the x value here is going to be negative 12. Okay, and we have to find the x because we're looking for cosine of u. Cosine of u is x over r. x would be negative 12, r would be 13. So for cosine u up above, we're going to put in negative 12 thirteenths. Okay, and now let's find the sine of v. Same process. Okay, sine of v, we're going to use this information from the cosine of v. Again, we know this is in the second quadrant because it says so in the directions. Okay, so uh, cosine is x over r. So for this triangle, I'm going to put my x value at negative 3, my r value at 5. Again, using Pythagorean's theorem, 5 squared is 25, 3 squared is 9. If I subtract them, I get 16, so this value right here will be 4. So the sine of V is going to be Y over R, or 4 fifths. Okay, and where I see sine of V up above, I'm going to substitute that in. 4 fifths. Now I just have to simplify these two, uh, multiply them and add them. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15, okay, M minus 12 times 4, 48, it's actually plus, but I know there's a minus sign there, and this is all over 65, because that's what 13 times 5 is, same denominator, uh, so now I just need to do the math on top, negative 15 minus 48 is negative 63, so my exact answer for sine of u plus v is negative 63 65ths.